So she and Big Machine, they start making the debut album. While they're making it, Taylor puts up a MySpace page. That's what all the teenagers are doing at the time. Look at that, going direct to her fans. Imagine that, going direct to her fans. Even though she's not on the radio, even though nobody's spending any money here. She also chooses, you know, for the production, again, like Scott and Big Machine, they've got real money. They've got Toby Keith behind them. They've got Universal. Like they have access to a lot of resources. Taylor's like, no, I want the guy who did my demo to be my producer, a guy named Nathan Chapman, who she has a great vibe with. And most importantly, she's like, no, I want to control this. Like, I want to control what this sounds like. I wrote these songs together with Liz with a lot of them, but like, I'm the songwriter. Like, I am in control here. So in June of 2006, they release the first single from the forthcoming album. It's Tim McGraw. Thanks to MySpace, she has 20 million interactions. Whoa, crazy. Then on October 24th, the album is finally released. And Taylor writes in the liner notes on the album. I love everyone who has inspired me to write a song, whether you know it or not. I love anyone who has ever turned the volume up when my song comes on the radio, anyone who has bought this album, anyone who can sing along to my songs when I play them live, anyone who's ever requested my song on the radio or even remembered my name. If you ever see me in public, I want to meet you. I will thank you myself. (laughs) You have let me into your life and I will never be able to thank you enough for that. I love you. I love God for putting you in my life. And then (laughs) a little PS to all the boys who thought they were cool and break my heart. Guess what? Here are 14 songs written about you. (laughs) Did she say Uh, that? She literally wrote that. That's so funny. (laughs) She knows where her power comes from. And her power comes from the fans who she's connecting with directly. I want to meet you. I want you to come up to me. Say hi to me in public. I will thank you myself. Watching what she did for the next 14 years after that in cultivating community on Tumblr is crazy. She has 27,000 interactions with fans on Tumblr over the years. Wow. That is her personally liking or reblogging or commenting. Like she gets use social media to to directly interact with my community. Yep. She's connected with teenagers all around the world on the internet. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna go buy the album. Especially in two thousand and six where I was frequently buying CDs. It cracks the top two hundred in November two thousand six and then slow build over this, you know social media empire i don't even know what you call it that taylor is building and and to contextualize this this is before instagram has launched yes and i think maybe even still before tumblr or right around the time tumblr starting so well over a year later in january 2008 after 60 63 straight weeks in the top 200 it becomes the number one album in the world Wow. It ends up in total on the Billboard Top 200. It spends 275 weeks on the charts. Like what other artist and album could do that? Especially from a 16-year-old? She was 15 when it came out. Yeah, wild. Totally wild. So Taylor, she's so smart. She's building this whole direct relationship with her fans, social media, innovating, pioneering in so many ways. She also is a master of the traditional way of doing things too so what is the traditional thing that an artist would do after they drop their first album tour you do press you're probably not on your first album going to go do a headliner tour yourself you're going to go be the opening act for other tours so first she starts opening for hootie and the blowfish is the first (laughs) big act that she opens for which is awesome then rascal flats rascal flats is going to come back into big machine later uh perfect then george Strait, brad paisley and then finally tim mcgraw and faith hill so literally the first single tim mcgraw she ends the opening act phase of her career opening for tim mcgraw and faith hill uh there is this unbelievable quote from brad paisley at the time about why he wanted taylor to come open for her He says, I called my manager when I heard her album and said, we have to get her out on tour. For her to have written that record at 16, it's crazy how good it is. I figured I'd hear it and think, well, it's good for 16. 
but it's just flat out good for any gauge. She is operating at a level I will never reach already in the groundbreaking way that she has taken a new audience and said, I'm a country singer and they love it. Wow. That's amazing. Strong words. Who got the truth? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Sit me down. Say it straight. Another story on the way. Who got the truth? Who got the truth now? Hmm.